Hello visual effects people, I'm AK, this is Fluid Ninja Live 1.2 and I'm introducing custom line tracing source. Before that, I would like to point you to the Marketplace homepage with the user manual and the change log. And in the change log you will find all the features and bug fixes added to this version. And in the manual there is a dedicated chapter covering today's topic, the custom line trace thing. It is 10.2.6. So please have a look at that. And right now we are getting to Unreal. And there is a dedicated level, level 2C, line tracing source. So let's have a look. Um, what is line tracing on the first place? Well, um, <laughs> these yellow lines are the trace lines and we are shooting these lines from the camera and targeting that red sphere and the line keeps going and somewhere it is intersecting this camera facing plane and so uh, we are able to detect where this red sphere is crossing the camera facing plane, the simulation. So on the first place we have been using trace lines to project the three-dimensional world coordinates of the colliding overlapping objects to the two-dimensional simulation space. Now have a look at this container. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's very easy to notice that the trace lines are not coming from the camera, but a point up in the clouds, approximately uh, <laughs> 20 meters above the simulation container. So that's what I call a custom line tracing source. And now I'm going to switch off this mass of tracing lines and try to figure out What's the reason for using a custom line tracing point? First, I'm just enabling this container. Right. So, when we are talking about the camera facing plane, it is always looking towards us, the spectator camera, and so the rays that we are shooting are always perpendicular. So it's a perfect uh, way of uh, projecting something onto this plane. And it works really well, as we could capture uh, spatially moving objects. Now have a look at this configuration. As you could see, the yellow sphere is um, floating above the simulation plane. And since we are using this uh, camera-based line tracing, it is projecting these points on the simulation plane. And as I'm moving <laughs> with my camera, well, the projection is wandering, is moving on the simulation plane. Uh, now please have a um, look, focus on the legs, on the feet of the mannequin. I'm getting to this low FPS angle and I'm jumping with the mannequin and the same thing happens. Uh, the trace lines coming from the camera and hitting the plane are making this long projected artifacts. Uh, it is very noticeable when I'm running and these sinoid waves are projected on the plane. It's very disturbing. And please forgive me that until now this was the only way to capture these coordinates, but on the first place it was uh, made up for this camera facing planes and it was later that we started to use the whole thing for these fixed, rotationally fixed simulation planes. So, uh, after struggling with these camera source, camera based trace lines. Finally, we have this one. So the tracing point is somewhere above the simulation plane. And as you could see, uh, the projected uh, coordinates are stable no matter how quick I move the camera or the angle doesn't matter. And if I do the same jump a trick, uh, there are no visual artifacts. If I do the running, there are no uh, sine wave like shapes in this trajectory. So it's a perfect solution in case we would like to uh, project collision and overlapping on a fixed, rotationally fixed simulation plane. 
So that's the main advantage of using this feature. Um, where is this feature located? If you select a container and go to the details panel, you could find a Ninja Live component. And in the live interaction group, at the bottom, there is this use custom trace source. It's a bool flag and you could define uh, coordinates where to put this point. These are uh, relative to the simulation container. In case the content moves, uh, it is taking these points with themselves. Okay, what other advantages this feature might have? Let me jump on to level 21 and have a look at this uh, wobbly sphere. We have introduced it uh, in a previous chapter, but the point is that I'm shooting my rays from the camera. And guess what? If I'm going to the other side of this sphere, uh, my rays from the camera are going through the sphere surface to hit that ball on the other side. So again, it's causing an artifact, uh, which is like a collision doubling. So we could see these uh, things, uh, the ball steering the surface, uh, despite the fact that it is on the other side. Now, let me approach this newly added sphere. Here's a description of what we have, but as you could see this blinking green dot, that is our tracing source. And so we are shooting rays from this tracing source. You know what? I'm switching it on because it might look cool. For a duration, please. And yep. Um, so we are shooting our rays exactly to these overlapping points and so if I go to the other side no artifacts here because the tracing source remained on the original side so again um, to avoid visual artifacts this custom line tracing uh, is a good option so shortly that's it and you could read about more advantages like uh, virtual reality appliance and stuff like that. But surely that's it and thank you for your patience and see you next time.